Hello, my name is John Shemwell, and this video is about a trip that my son Nathan Shemwell and I made in Mosquito Lagoon and the Upper Indian River. Um, the boat that we're sailing on is a Wayfarer, which is a 16-foot open sailing boat, also known as a dinghy. I hope you'll enjoy the video, and I especially hope that you'll be inspired to make a trip similar to this one. This image shows the general area of the trip, starting from River Rees Park in the north, just below New Smyrna Beach, sailing down through Mosquito Lagoon south and through the Upper Indian River, down past Titusville to Fort St. John just above Coco, and then coming back um, the other direction and landing again in River Rees Park. The trip took four days and three nights, and these red points are the anchor po anchorage points. The first day we sailed down through the Mosquito Lagoon in through the Hollover Canal to the Upper Indian River. The second day we sailed down further south past Titusville to Fort St. John. The third day we sailed up along this yellow line back through the canal to the southern part of Mosquito Lagoon. And the last day, the shortest day, we sailed back up along the lagoon to River Breeze Park again. Leaving River Breeze Park in Edgewater, and we have a nice little breeze behind us that came in. I um, can see our sails. See it's out there. And we're proceeding against the current um, out into Mosquito Lagoon. There are dolphins all around us. Hear them on the video. There's one that's right there. And um, when we first got put in, we had to row because there was absolutely no wind and the current was against us. But we rowed pretty well, pretty efficiently, and then a little wind came in. After lunch now, on the first day, and very fine sailing with the wind just forward of the of the beam. Um, got a couple of sailboats motoring in front of us over here, and off our starboard theme is, well, might be the campsite that we camped in last year when we brought the sunfish and the kayak out. And then back here is where we came from. We continued south on this course, emerging from the river-like confines of the Oak Hill area into the open lagoon beyond uh, with the wind, uh, very light wind out of the west, but enough to push us along nicely on an easy sail down to uh, the entrance to the canal. With such light wind and easy sailing, the person not on the helm could take their ease and we could let our lunch dishes dry in the sun. You can see them on the lower left. Coming through the Hallover Canal, went behind us so we were able to sail in um, really slowly though, not a lot of wind, and so we put an oar out, Nathan's making that happen, and here we are coming up to the bridge. The bridge is supposed to have a clearance of 27 feet, and our um, math is 22 feet. So we think we should be able to make them underneath there without them having to raise the thing. Made it through the Hallover Canal. This is the Indian River there. There's the exit to the canal. And we're here at a nice little kayak launch. Now we passed out of the Hallover Canal and we're in the top of the Indian River. And a very nice sail. Um, the wind's still mostly behind us. That is the eastern shoreline over there. We are headed up toward this point. We're going to go around this point just under the sail and anchor on the other side of that for the night. And there is the canal, and, and maybe too small to see on the video, but the drawbridge is open right now for a, it's like a sailboat to go through. 
Lots of these white pelicans all around us here. And pretty much all by ourselves out here. A couple boats have come by. And the centerboard's coming up. After passing through the canal, we followed the green dotted line um, instead of the channel. The channel is defined by that straight line of those uh, spoil islands. And so we sailed over some shallow water, which is no problem for us. And you can probably see on this um, image where the centerboard was coming up, uh, as mentioned in the last part of the video. And of course, sailing down when we didn't need the centerboard at all, really. And so we just put it up and sailed right to where we wanted to go. Sailing up into our anchorage, about another 45 minutes of sunlight left. Here's our anchorage, it's going to be right around this point. There's a little creek there that we hope will be nice and quiet and out of the wind. And this is the upper Indian River behind us, sailing over super shallow water so we get the center more mostly up. Um, so it's a very pretty evening. Very pretty. We then anchored and put the boom on the crutch and watched uh, the rest of the sunset, which was very, very beautiful, as you can see here. And after putting the tent on and having dinner, we uh, went to bed for a night's rest and awoke to this view out of the bow showing a light fog which would thicken before um, it lifted. Day two just left our anchorage. Ghost going along in a little bit of fog. We just passed through what's called the a railroad bridge, the NASA Railroad Bridge, and um, we had an interesting time, a little bit interesting, um, as we came in out of the fog, we had to kind of, we couldn't see this causeway here, so we had to look on Google Earth to see where it was in order to take the right direction. And now we're headed up to, this is the next bridge up here, let's see here, there. And we're going to pass under that, and we should be in Titusville. Coming into Titusville, and there at the foot of the bridge is a restaurant we we're hoping to eat lunch at. And then over on this shore is a big anchor field with a lot of sailboats. And right at the foot of the bridge is a sailing club that we're planning to land at, perhaps anchor at. Coming into T Titusville, there are a lot of wrecked sailboats here. There's one with its mast just sticking out. Well, there's the restaurant we're going to eat at. And over here, there's a boat up on, pushed up on the shore, and a second one. And all along this mainland shore, we've seen wrecked boats. There's another one. It's devastated. After mooring at the sailing club, it was time for lunch. Now it's after lunch and kind of a long lunch at that restaurant with the green roof over there. We had a really good grouper sandwich there, it was delicious. And uh, we stopped and got some ice and some paper towels that we decided we needed and some sunscreen. And so we're leaving Titusville, heading downwind again and got another boat out sailing with us. And then on our left here is Merritt Island. South of Titusville, the next bridge was what's called the NASA Causeway, a drawbridge with 27 feet of clearance, which on paper was enough for us to sail under. Only about three, <laughs> Only about three feet to spare, actually. That's about what we calculated.
made it through NASA Causeway there with just a couple of feet to spare. You might have seen it on the video. And the wind came a little forward, so we're sailing along very nicely now, heading to our anchorage for tonight. Just going down now. Nathan is fixing us some apples and we have little beer in these cups. And don't have the top on yet. We'll put it on as soon as it starts doing. Stop for a pair of teeth and we're joined by a man in the eat area. We awoke the next morning, um, and it was very clear, no fog, and absolutely no wind. Third morning, and uh, after our second night, and uh, absolutely no wind right now, so we're rowing over, actually just Nathan's rowing, but I will be in a second, rowing over to the shoreline over here, try to get some breakfast. Beautiful morning. And we anchored our boat in shallow water um, next to a boat ramp and walked across US-1 and went to a little place that had bagels for breakfast. It's after breakfast now and uh, the wind did come up and it came out of the south as we expected so we're running down wind now. Um, you can see there's the shoreline over there and back in that those trees that's where we came from. We beached there and we went to a bagel place and had a really delicious bagel. And while we were there, we were treated to a rocket launch. Um, someone come in, came in and said there was about to be one. So we looked outside and there was the rocket going up. And it was really impressive. And maybe about like eight to 10 minutes after it launched, we had a really big sonic boom. Last night we had a lot of dew coming in to the to the tent, and so my sleeping bag got a little wet from the dew that came on the inside and dripped down on it. And so I'm drying it out here as we sail down wind in the sun. Sailing back through the NASA NASA Causeway. Um, this side has the um, clearance gauge. And when we passed through last time, it read 24 feet. Uh, so we'll take a look at that gauge again as we come closer to make sure it's still reading that. Okay, coming up to the causeway now. It feels like you're a little bit left of center, Nathan. Right of center. Maybe about a foot where the light was. Continuing our sail from Port St. John up to Titusville. Um, and we're planning to land on this side of the bridge. This little park there called Scobie Park. We moored our boat in the city park and stepped across to US-1 in Titusville and had lunch at the Sunrise Bread Company. Back in the boat after lunch in Titusville, sailing downwind. Just passed under the causeway. Continuing our sail, we're about to go through the railroad 
Causeway. Okay, we passed through the railroad causeway, and after we did that, we made a right turn to head up toward the Hallover Canal. Um, there's a point on the right over there that we're going to shave by. There's the point behind the sail, um, which is where we camped on the first night. And it's about 2.30. So we're thinking we'll be able to get up there and go through the canal tonight and camp on the other side. And when we go there, probably there will be very little wind, so we're thinking we'll have to row through there. Speeding along here, we're approaching the Hallover Canal. Over on the left of the canal, a little kayak on to stop there on the way out. Uh, the wind is kind of perpendicular to the canal, so in theory, we could sail through it, um, but if we get the calm in there and we start drifting around, we could end up in trouble kind of on the side where the rocks are, or especially with the bridge, get into the wrong part of the bridge and get the mast on the bridge. So once we get in, I'll see how well we're able to go. And if we're able to sail, I'm going to put an oar out so we can row a little bit if we start getting the calm. And as long as we can keep a little bit of way on, we have maneuverability and we can go where we want to go. So the oar should help us do that. If we're completely becalmed in there, then I think we'll probably put the sail down with both oars out. So we made it under the Hallover Canal Bridge. The water was pretty high, so we were worried about being too tall. And um, so we both sat on the same side of the boat to lower the mast a little bit. But it looked like we had about 25 feet of clearance when we saw the gauge coming out on this side. There was no gauge on this net side. And um, we did row a little bit in order to maintain speed and steerage way, and that worked great. Uh, back in Mosquito Lagoon, and we are doing a rare upwind sail as we sail across to the other side, looking for a place to anchor for tonight. Be our last night, and we're thinking if we anchor close to the shore, we could go maybe for a swim in the morning on our anchorage um, here in Mosquito Lagoon. And about five o'clock, um, the next time to arrive, got the boom uh, crutch on, got the sail tied up to the boom, anchored behind this island here because it's pretty windy, um, rough in the main part of the lagoon. Beyond that shoreline is the beach, you can hear the waves crashing on the beach. Um, really pretty. We had some aperitifs, and then we watched the sunset, and put the tarp on, and made dinner. In the morning, we planned to make a short sail um, upwind through shallow water to Klondike Beach to go for a swim. Day four, we are, we've got a little more wind today, it feels like 10, and gusting to above 10, 15, 10 to 15 maybe, it's supposed to be 10 to 20 today, and we're sailing over to Klondike Beach, where if we're brave enough with the wind and sun comes out, we'll go for a swim. I think I see the beach, Nathan, just off the beach, off the bow there. We had a nice night. Um, we did have a couple interesting things where we anchored, because of the winds, close to an island, which was great until the wind completely died and mosquitoes were getting us. So in the middle of the night, I paddled us out into deeper water. Um, and then, um, uh, after that though, we were fine. And we had a nice breakfast this morning. Unfortunately, the beach was closed due to thinning vegetation, probably from the recent hurricane. So there was no swim for us. Heading back from the beach and heading toward home now. Uh, we now have a reef in our sail, uh, just one reef. And so a shorter sail. Uh, you can see there are white caps out here now. So 10 to 20. Next one right here. Um, heading back.
back toward the channel and then downwind, well, downwind all the way to River Breeze Park at the other end of the Mosquito Lagoon. Last leg of our journey now. Things, wind's a little calmer. It feels calmer because we're downwind, but I see two are like that. Heading north, uh, paralleling the channel. And from here, I guess about nine, 10 miles up to River Breeze Park where we put in. Approaching River Breeze Park and the boat launch, which is where we started our voyage. And sailing so nicely, it's a shame to end our trip, but it's been a terrific one.